Hello and good morning, everyone. From the, the, welcome to the Speed Tape and 33 XL channel, and welcome to another episode of my Formula One 2021 My Team Tape for Career Mode. This is episode number 35, and we're at the Suzuka Circuit, the uh, canceling track, uh, the Japanese Grand Prix. If you uh, males and females missed the previous one, which was the Singapore Grand Prix, be sure to check it out on uh, Twitch.tv uh, for live coverage slash Speed Tape and 33 XL. And then checking on uh, replay coverages on youtube.com slash speedtapeinerator3xl if you want to leave your links and comments and subscribe to my channel down below. Uh, be sure to do that on both of these channels. Uh, on twitch.tv, click on the uh, purple heart uh, followers button to watch live coverage uh, right now that you see on uh, twitch.tv slash speedtapeinerator3. And then click on the red bell if you want to check it on youtube.com slash speedtapeinerator3xl. And we just got about five more races left to go in the uh, second season of our Formula One My Team Japo career mode. And uh, we're 33 ahead of Lewis Hamilton. And you know, next season, we're going to try to do it right this time on the schedule as we will, for the first time, we will run the Chinese uh, Grand Prix and we have to eliminate one of our races. So we'll have one race uh, to cancel and that will be, uh, we will not run the Singapore Grand Prix for next season. And uh, I'm glad I already won the uh, second season of it. So. We will run the Singapore Grand Prix once uh, the three new tracks uh, have been upgraded into the game. And uh, it should be uh, upgrading uh, any time uh, this week or next week. And as suppose all you know, in the next six days, uh, we're also going to broadcast the, uh, the WRC 10 game as that game will be released uh, on September 5th, which is six days away. So that will be on Facebook Live, YouTube.com, and Twitch.tv. It will be on all three channels uh, for the... Uh, WRC 10 game, and we'll still come back for the Moto Grand Prix uh, career mode as we have a, a as we're getting into race uh, th four right now, and that is the uh, Portimao track in Portugal, and it's expecting to be raining over there, so uh, we do have our max up upgrades for that. So those are the upcoming news coming up, and I can't wait to run WRC 10, and I'll be running that all week long. And we know Formula One for the first time, they're finally going to get a chance to run the, uh, in real life, to run the Circuit de Zandoval, even though they didn't run it last year because of the uh, pandemic problem, but they will run it this year. And I'm very proud of them. And uh, we've been struggling a little bit in practice. Uh, we have a new upgrade. We have the new braking uh, upgrade, but we need to add the calipers in there, and that will go into effect uh, into the next race. And we thought we were going to have uh, a regulation change, but... It may happen in the next race uh, at the USA Grand Prix, but um, if, we, if it does happen in the USA Grand Prix, uh, then we don't have to make any more uh, upgrades. But, uh, but we're almost uh, maxing out the upgrades. As you can see, the uh, aerodynamics is almost getting close, and uh, we're getting good durability and everything, and, and, and we may be looking good to win the championship. This has been a pretty uh, tough season. Uh, it's been a seesaw and battle, but uh, like I said, I wanted to give you good coverages uh, so I could have good episodes, and I'm very glad I, I did the setup and everything, and uh, I know I've done a lot of flashbacks and everything else, and and it has been, uh, it's tough, it's not so easy. I, I, it looks like I'm driving a real-life uh, Formula One car, and hope we can see the same on WRC 10 game, and then also the new NASCAR 21 game coming up, uh, which is only going to be a month and a half away. Remember, that comes up in late October. And that's when we will end the, uh, the Mo Motor Grand Prix uh, 21 game. And then uh, that will be, uh, and then after I'm done with that, then I'm going to uninstall it until Motor Grand Prix 22 comes out in April. So it looks to me, we're all set and ready to go. We've struggled in uh, qualifying. We were only up to about 11 passes, but we know we have a fast car. And we are going to be facing a uh, grid penalty because we had to change the, uh, the energy store. And, and pretty much that will be the only thing uh, that, that will change because it looks like all the rest of the components are... Uh, they're already fully maxed down on the R&D upgrade, and that will really help us. And then it will try to lead the way to the end of the season. So here we go. Getting set for the Suzuka Circuit here at the Japanese Grand Prix for episode number 35 of our Formula 1 My Team's April Career Mode. Here we go. And the weather is going to be good, so no rain in sight. In the previous race in the uh, Singapore Grand Prix, that was a fabulous job we did, running 31 laps on the medium tires and then leading the, uh, the rest of the way uh, in the rain. And we're driving the same Japanese car, but this is going to be a little bit uh, more of a Penske-like uh, uh, livery car, so we put black stripes on it instead of red stripes. And then we have the rainbow uh, on the halo. Well, 
Right now, the fastest time now is a minute 28.483. Um, but we'll see how, how uh, we'll see what the positions will, will be uh, when we face that grid penalty. Uh, so we will get pulled position. We will try to get the pulled position, but but once that grid penalty uh, goes into effect, it's going to show us right up on the screen. Yeah, we're facing a 10 place grid penalty because we had to change components, so we're going to be uh, dropping into the top 10. Be careful with these turns, and uh, sometimes, sometimes these turns over here can be uh, very narrow. Well, we only have the new brake that's on this thing, but uh, we have plenty of upgrades to go uh, on our uh, braking system, and the calipers will, will be upgrading in the next race when we go to our home race at the U.S. Grand Prix at Dakota. better than we were last season. Because we were terrible last season uh, handling these turns, but now that we have all the full setups, uh, it's looking good. Well, it puts us in the 14th. Uh, we didn't get the, the pace that we needed. Starting dead last after that grid penalty. But we always know that we always can move up in position. Try it again. Um, uh, going around the S was, uh, was a little bit tough than expected. And I picked up the piece a little bit. That was good. And that puts us in the P12. Let's hope it will stay in the second qualifying session. But we already know uh, if we start in that position that uh, we're going to be starting dead last. And the Rossberg's doing a good job. He's a minute 28, but we're still not getting him, still not getting the pace that we needed. Well, at least we're in P14, but remember we're dropping 10 positions because of the uh, energy store that was uh, facing a grid penalty. But Daniel Ricardo is the fastest. But we don't know what's going on with Lewis Hamilton. He's not really uh, picking up the pace either. He's in P4 and battling off of this championship. You know, at the start of the race, uh, we're going to have to need to be careful getting into that first corner because it's going to be tough. Well, I'm glad my teammate, Nico Rosberg, is doing a good job. 
He's a minute 28 point to 7.34. We're still not picking up the pace then. I may have to take another lap at it because uh, I, I lost control of the car. It's getting a little bit too wide. Yeah, I went a little bit too slow because uh, I hit some of the corners a little bit too quickly. And we move up into third. Wow. Minute 28.760. Man, we did pick up a lot of pace on that one. That was a nice job. And, that, and for the first time, we make it up into the uh, third qualifying session. That was beautiful. We made it up into P9 and barely made it into the third qualifying session with a minute 28. 0.760, but we know our grid penalty, it would drop us into P9, but it depends on all the other drivers, so what they do well. We did another two laps out of this thing, and, uh, and Dana Ricardo is still the fastest. Lewis Hamilton is third right now, with five races left to go. You know, we'll still lead the championship because, uh, remember, it's 26 points uh, for every win that you get in the race. And then Rosberg and I are sixth and ninth. Yeah, that was beautiful, and uh, finally I got a minute 28 on, on this time. Yeah, we need to get around there. If we get around a minute 28, uh, we could start maybe in 15th uh, on this thing, or maybe 10th. Well, the best time to do it is minute 28.143.
Yeah, that's not a good time right there. Oh, man. Lance Stroll. I might have to flash back on that one. That was uh, unsportsmanlike contact, and Lance Stroll couldn't even get out of the way. And Lance Stroll's going to roll my run. Now he gets it right this time. us in the P8 right next to Rosberg, but it looks like we're going to be starting P18. But let's see what, what it puts us in position, because we had to make that uh, grid penalty. It would have been nice to go to P8. And Lewis Hamilton got the pole position. And Lance Stroll, that wasn't very nice over there. You should have let me go. Race. Well, at least we uh, improved a little bit. Uh, we've been getting a minute 29, but uh, we finally uh, improve on the car and we get to P8, but uh, the grid penalty is going to uh, drop us into P18. So let's see what happens. If any others uh, get any uh, grid penalty, then uh, let's see what position we can go to. Well, we needed to make that grid penalty so that way we can uh, have more energy store and more boost into the system. But uh, I know it's going to drop us back a little bit, but we'll be able to get up there and then let's see if we can get on top of the charts. You lost your teammate today. Was it just not your day? Well, uh, we, uh, we've been handling the car very well, but the, the car struggled a little bit uh, going around here. But uh, at least we're, we've been improved, we got more speed out of it, and uh, we got a minute 28, and we, we did a nice job. How will not making Q3 affect your strategy tomorrow? Well, we did make it into Q3. I, I wasn't expecting it, but uh, we did, and uh, we did a very good job. But P18, but let's see if we can uh, catch up to the field, but we'll have a fast car anyway. Right. Well, that's a good thing. Dropping back into P18 because we had to make that energy store change, and it looks like uh, I hope that will be the only thing that we have to change uh, this season because now uh, we've pretty much got everything filled up on the durability setup. So let's hope we can do a good job over here. But it was a little bit bad, but uh, we'll we'll move up there and then let's see if we can try to get back into the fight. And we have a 33-point lead over uh, Lewis Hamilton. Let's see if we can uh, try to uh, make it into the top 10 for P18, but uh, I don't know how everybody else is going to get it. If it puts us into the top 15, we'll see, but see how everybody else gets. Uh, 
That was the only change that we made because we used so much of that energy store and, uh, and uh, we really needed to pick up the, the contending pace. That's how we uh, win well in, uh, in Singapore. And we got our works cut off for us, but uh, let's see if we can move up in the field and not ram into anybody and, and try to be patient. So here we go, episode number 35 of our uh, Formula One 2021 My Team Table Career Mode. Here is the Suzuka Circuit here in the Japanese Grand Prix. Welcome along then to the magnificent Suzuka International Circuit, a stone's throw away from Isa Bay in the beautiful Japanese countryside. What surprises lie in wait for us today in the Japanese Grand Prix? We're southwest of the city of Nagoya today at the unique figure of eight Suzuka circuit. 3.6 miles and 18 corners make up a lap here, with average speeds approaching 136 miles per hour. DRS will be available, of course, into the potential passing opportunity of turn one, although the best place for overtaking will be through 130R and into the final chicane. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Hawk. What do you make of their performance so far this season? It's been a really solid year so far. There have been some incredible standout performances, but what's really impressed me has been the consistency. With this kind of form, I'm expecting another great race today. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have... Bottas, Rosberg, Carlos Sainz, and Stroll, Russell, Ocon, Vettel, and Pierre Gasly, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Sergio Perez, and Verstappen, Joe, Hawk, Mick Schumacher, and Yuki Tsunoda, Mazepin, Giovinazzi, Latifi, and Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. It's almost time for those five red Wow, Daniel Ricardo is going to start in dead last. So there's been a lot of grid penalties from other drivers. So me and Ricardo got our works cut out. We started in P16 because we were going to start in P18 because Daniel Ricardo uh, looks like he took a 20 place grid penalty for changing his gearbox or the engine. But we're going to start in P16 and we do have our works cut out, but um, let's see if we can try to move up into the field. And if we do, if we uh, try to make a cut move and then go through it, then uh, we'll be all right. So everybody's going to be taken first. So Nico Rosberg, my teammate, is going to start in P4. So he's in excellent condition. And he's got the two Ferraris, Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc. And uh, they've been doing well in the second half of the season. And uh, where's uh, Lando Norris uh, is going to start? He's going to start in P12. Uh, he uh, also took a good penalty. Uh, let's take a look at the strategy. Uh, we should be able to go uh, with this strategy. Uh, well, if we can go uh, to 13 laps of, um, well, this race will last for an hour and 17, so that's good. So that means that it will be um, a, shor a shorter race. Uh, I don't know about the, uh, we can go maybe 20 laps and do it on a one-tire stop. Maybe go 20 laps on the soft tires. And, but uh, let's see uh, if the strategy will play out uh, beautifully. And then we can go to 20 laps on the mediums. So if we could do it like that, then uh, we'll be able to go out there and do well. Because the medium tires are going to do pretty good over here at the Suzuka Circuit. So we're starting in P16, and Lewis Hamilton on the pole uh, for this race. And we have a 33-point advantage right now into the championship with five races left to go. Because the next one will be my home race at the U.S. Grand Prix, and, um, and we pretty much will be in good shape uh, for the next six races and not worry about any uh, grid penalties. Well, we're all uh, up and running to go here at the Japanese Grand Prix. It's the second year in a row that I started in the back of the field with this grid penalty, but uh, uh, that's how it is, and hopefully we don't have to worry about that for next season. Here we go. <laughs> Let's hope we can make a, a good wonder <laughs> getting up in the field. And everybody else is starting in the back of the field. Uh, the, 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 they got their works cut up to them, especially Max Verstappen faced the grid penalty, so did Norris. And then, but I think the biggest uh, one, the, the biggest hurt was uh, Daniel Ricciardo. He's starting dead last.
And then if we didn't face the, that energy store problem, we could have moved up like around P6 or so. Remember, I have seven wins already. I'm already ahead of Lewis Hamilton. I made some good runs. Juan Rizzo, remember, he's not Japanese, he's a Chinese, he's starting P15, and the same goes with uh, Tosanoda. Tosanoda is uh, the Japanese, he's running his home track, but uh, not a very good outing for him, he's starting a P18 in the Alfa Romeo. And there is going to be an FPC for that Red Bull uh, Honda, I think maybe George Russell could be taking over that ride. And uh, I'm very proud of George Russell uh, yesterday in real life in the Belgian Grand Prix. Williams' first time uh, in a long while. They got a uh, yeah, they got a podium finish, and that was big points. Uh, and what a good job for Claire Williams and the racing team. And very soon, hey, who said that backmarkers uh, are, are the lonely ones? We've seen that before. We've seen that picture before with a lot of backmarker drivers. But what a great job for George Russell. He's going to be a good driver in Formula 1. He's going to be winning a lot of races in the future, and he is so ready to, to be in that Mercedes. All right, starting in P16, everybody else is uh, in the back of the field, too, like Max Verstappen and uh, all the others. And also Nico Rosberg, let's hope he does a good job. My teammate is starting in P4. I should have started in P6 if I didn't change this uh, energy store, but I, I did what I had to do. And then the red lights will be coming on shortly here for the Japanese Grand Prix. And we got 53 laps to catch up. Five red lights come on. And episode number 35, Japanese Grand Prix underway. All right, not a good start for Lando Norris. Oh, man. Oh, man. I knew it. I ran right into uh, Lando Norris. Just couldn't even get, just couldn't get himself out of the way. Oh, somebody spun me from behind, but I get back on the track. Yeah, I got spun from behind. It's not an easy pass over there, but I pass around both of them and I move up in the B14. But that first contact was unavoidable. And luckily I have no damage on the back of that car. I just went a little bit too quick going into uh, that corner over there, and it dropped me in position. It's 
still early in the race, but we will catch up into the field. It might be a terrible race for us with this grid penalty, and I know everybody else is up. Oh, we got one car on spun out. Oh, that's Carl Sainz. Carl Sainz is spun out. Oh, we just saw it there. Oh, man, that's, a, that's our first collision of the day. And it moves us to place, and then we move up into 15th. Everybody's been having problems with that, uh, that turn. Try to get around Ronnie and Joe. Battle for P14. I don't know. You can't do it. Still cannot do it. I cannot get around them. Max Verstappen is now running into a P12. Yeah, Ronnie and Joe is what's holding us up. We'll get around them, don't worry. We're, we're just trying to uh, just trying to be patient out there. I wish the safety car would come out. If we have any more of those collisions, that would be great. Still cannot get around them. Oh, look at Judge Ron here. So <laughs> hit the brakes hard. Man, we did this with, uh, with one miscue. tires on there. Yeah, I know, because uh, the show is not really giving me the, the room. I, I can't pass them on these turns, you know, this, this is a, this is the Japanese Grand Prix. I cannot uh, pass them really on these turns. Don't have the pace. Boy, right, it looks like I got him now. I'm, I'm getting closer. Oh, so close. I, I hit the brakes hard and then I just could not uh, get around Zoe.
finally get around to a Guanyu show and I move up in the P14. And it took me about four laps to try to get around them. Remember, there's no DRS there, but I don't know how uh, Zillow's got that pace. And now Zillow has to touch rise with the uh, <laughs> pile of signs. Pulling away from Zoe and Sides. Well, we're at minute 32 right now, and we're closing in on that Lando North. Not really a good race for us here because uh, we're still running in P14 and we're not really pacing up uh, to the field here with this grid penalty. And our cars are getting worn. I don't think the soft tires are very comfortable here.
we're just being patient out there. We're just trying very hard to uh, pick up the pace and everything. We're trying to maybe get a top 10 finish uh, out of this one. Because our car is just uh, terrible. We have new units on this thing, but it's just not uh, pacing. At least the energy store is pacing a little bit. After 11 of 53 laps, and we're still not the uh, pacing that we need to be. I know we have a great car and everything, but uh, we just needed the split penalty so that way we can uh, look ahead and have things to come in the next race when we go to the U.S. Grand Prix. Also, Giovinazzi has been moving up as well from P21 to P16.
all my tires are getting worn. Right behind Carlos Sainz, he's getting good pace on that Ferrari. The next Verstappen is now running in P11. And Nico Rosberg is running in third place, my teammate, but I am coming. I'm just trying uh, to pick up the pace. I do have DRS, so I'm closing in on the Sergio Perez. I'm going to pass them, but I'm going to wait until I get into that hairpin car. Okay, Carl, it's fine. Don't get too aggressive with me. Knocking around them. Just not getting no pace. At least I'm closing in on these guys, so that, that's good. And my teammate Nico Rosper goes into the pit. So I don't ram into uh, Sergio Perez. I'm just trying to save the car a little bit and be patient.
Yeah, Sainz has a little bit better advantage. It looks like he has a new gearbox on that thing, or a new engine, I guess. Yeah, our cars are really getting into the food. Stop and now goes into the pit. Tires are getting shot, but they're really uh, slowing down a little bit. We're having a, a very worse race here at the Japanese Grand Prix. We're still not uh, picking up the pace uh, that we needed to. But it does give us a good, good advantage, but, and we definitely need a safety car. If we get a safety car, then uh, we can get back in this race. And they're all still staying out. Well, Rothberg went with the hard tires. My teammate Nico Rothberg went with the hard tires. the P12 uh, because we're trying to work our way towards strategy. If we stay out there a little bit more, then we can uh, get a little bit of advantage on these tires. And maybe instead of going with hards, then we can go with mediums. Okay, Carlos Sainz now goes into the pits. They move up into ninth for now. See if I can try to get around Perez. I don't know.
man. Look at my tires there. It's so shot. And Perez hasn't even uh, made a pit stop yet. And I finally get around to your Perez for uh, for seven. I mean, I think we can pit on this lap and then put on the medium tires. All right, go ahead, Mossberg. Oh man, the, the, the side pod taking damage. All right. Well. Check your NFD for a new strategy option. Copy that. Yeah, we're down into 11th, but we need to make this pit stop, and we're going to put on the mediums. Oh, and they, and they have to make a wing change. I don't know what happened with the wing. And that means we don't have to make another pit stop. But it drops us into P18 because of the wing change. Uh, we we made contact with uh, Sergio Perez. We're still not giving up. Uh, we can get that safety car if we can, if we can try to avoid it out there. But the wing damage. Uh, this has been a terrible race. I, I can't believe it. Uh, we're not even uh, picking up the pace.
we got a we got a little bit too aggressive with uh, just got a bit too aggressive with uh, Sergio Perez. Man, I have never had a worse start like this uh, here at the, uh, the Japanese Grand Prix. And then we had the wing damage on the car, and then uh, I hope we can make it get a safety car. If we get a safety car, then uh, we can get back in this race. I need a safety car. Hopefully, hopefully next season, um, if we get all our full components uh, back, then uh, then we should be able to have a good race uh, next season. We're at the 24, 53 laps. We're currently running in P17, and uh, this is not this is not the kind of race that I wanted. But uh, we'll just stay focused and go to the next one when we go to the U.S. Grand Prix. But uh, a disappointing day because of, uh, we had wing damage. We were trying to get around. Uh, Sergio Perez because uh, he was driving me nuts. I can't. I couldn't even get around him. It's, it's so hard to pass here. It is very hard to pass. Uh, we have a 33-point advantage, but it is going to uh, hurt us a little bit. Uh, we're going to be down to 11 uh, if Lewis Hamilton does win this race. But we're doing everything we can with this car. We are trying to get up there. I'm so surprised that there's, there's no cars out of the race. And Gavin Nancy is now going to the pits. It looks like he made collision. Oh, Valtteri Boltez in second place is out of the race. And that is his third DNF of the season. He has blown an engine. Oh, my goodness. What a tough break for Valtteri Boltez. He was running in second spot, and now he gets a DNF. And that's going to be good for the constructors because... Uh, and that's bad news for Lewis Hamilton because now his teammate gets his fourth DNF of the season with a blown engine. So I will move up into 16th uh, position, and that is our first retirement of the race. What a tough race. Yeah, I move up into P16 because Botas is now officially a then retire. What a tough break for the Mercedes. Boltez, the defending uh, the champion of this race, is out of it.
Well, this is going to be a terrible race, uh, but uh, it's not about winning the championship, it's about pride, but uh, it could have been nice to have a uh, safety car. But at least Boltas is out of the race, that, uh, he won't get any points out of this one, but uh, I think we better be careful with the passing. I, I can't believe Williams is doing so well. Try to pressure him. I know we were, that dirty air is really pressuring us to so slow us down a little bit. That was a better move that time when we move around him for P15. I should have not had that wing damage. That, that's what uh, lost a lot of track position. Lewis Hamilton was out of the race, and then, then we could still keep our 33-point lead. 
We're after 30 or 53 laps and we're winding down. We're only about 24 laps remaining here at the Japanese Grand Prix. And this terrible race that we're having so far, we just didn't have the pace. Man, we got a minute and 30.806. We are moving forward. At least we stayed out there long enough and then uh, we did it on a one-tire strategy. going on to the U.S. Grand Prix. We will do good in our home track, but it just wasn't, um, just wasn't that we wanted because uh, that grid penalty really hurt us. And it's tough to pass here at Suzuka.
After 35, I was going to relapse. We're trying to catch up with the field. You know, we're trying to get the uh, this group over here so we can have a little bit of a decent finish, but <clears throat> still no safety car yet. We could have had a top 10 finish if we didn't have that wing damage. Lost a little pace there, but that's all right. We will get we'll get to these guys. Just having a terrible day today. I'm just uh, I'm racing very hard out there. I'm running in the top 15, and uh, this is not where I want it to be. But uh, but don't worry. I think uh, we'll do okay uh, in the next race. And look at this, Norris and uh, Ricardo are not doing well either. Yeah, the grid penalty really hurt us, but, uh, well, yeah, it was the grid penalty, but, uh, we will, uh, but, you know, we got a good fresh energy store, and that will good, do good for us in the next five races.
took us until lap 39 to get with these guys, but Antonio Giovinazzi and uh, everyone else. We are fast, but uh, it's just, it's just too little too late because uh, we, we had that great penalty, and uh, and then the wing damage has cost us uh, a lot of track position. And we are now closing in on these guys to move up in the P14. You know, in the next upgrade with our brakes, when we get those calipers in there, it, it should be able to do great for us in the next race. Nice pass, and we move up into P14, passing over Giovinazzi. Almost got him, but uh, not quite. a nice pass and that's his teammate right there and we move up in the P13 Fernando Alonso, whose car is going to be unstable.
Oh, that was close. After 25 and 53 laps, and we're still we're not getting around to Fernando Alonso.
Oh, and Daniel Ricardo has a problem, but it looks like it may be too little too late to pass around them. So Ricardo is going to have a problem. It's the second race in a row Daniel Ricardo has got issues. This has been a terrible race for us. This is not the pace that we wanted it, uh, over here. It's because of the grid penalty. And we should have gotten maybe a top uh, six finish, but uh, hopefully we'll have a better outing in the next race when we go to the U.S. Grand Prix. Now that we have a fresh uh, energy store, we'll only use five percent of it uh, throughout the race. Hopefully next season we can have a better outing here at the Japanese Grand Prix. Yeah, I'm so sorry about the uh, wing damage. Antonio Giovinazzi got the fastest. That's good. Closing in on Daniel Ricardo because he is still running but pretty slow. I'm trying. I'm really trying to get along Alonso, but he just got good pace right now. And 
We only got about three laps to go. This is going to be the worst race that I ever had here at the Japanese Grand Prix. It wasn't that I wanted it because uh, we had to face a grid penalty. We were just focusing on, but we were going to focus on the next race. Let's just focus on our home track at the U.S. Grand Prix. Forget this one, and then we'll, we'll move on, and then we'll try to win this championship. But we just we got the new engine on it and everything, and uh, and we do good in Dakota. Things are going to look good when we go back to the North American tracks, and then uh, we can have a good outing. And he recognized my wing. That's unavoidable contact. That's only the third time I've done that. get him on the final lap. I'm going to get Alonzo. That wasn't the final lap of the race. He's already uh, done that to me about four times. He's got too much aggression. Alright, this is the next time around. This is the final lap here in Suzuka. This is not a good race. We should have had more pace uh, than, than any, anybody others in the field, but then we just uh, struggled. Uh, I think we were mostly struggling with speed. You know, we could have got in the top 10 finish if, it, if Sergio Perez uh, didn't cause that wing damage. And Lewis Hamilton went on to win the race, so that means I'm going to be losing. Uh, Valuable amount of points. We've had a 33 uh, advantage, but it looks like it's going to go down to about eight. But don't worry, we will do better in the next race when we go to the U.S. Grand Prix, so that way we can have a better outing. Well, we're going to end up with the, the P13 because uh, <clears throat> we're still not getting the pace, uh, getting into uh, Fernando Alonso. Uh, the pace is normal and everything, but we're, we're just not really, uh, we're just not really up at the, in speed, but the, and the grid, grid penalty really hurt us and everything to, to get back into the field. But let's just focus on the next race, and we will do much better in the next one when we go to the U.S. Grand Prix. Let's just focus on Dakota, and uh, we'll do better over there. And, 
This was obviously not a good race at all. Not a, not a good showing. Well, we didn't do very well with the P12. We just didn't have... Um, we had a lot of trouble with the car. We struggled so badly over here and then we just didn't have no pace. And uh, I just feel so bad right now. It wasn't a good race for us. But at least the constructors' point standings, uh, now that Valtteri Bottas got out of the race, now uh, it gets it a little better for us. But it causes a huge blow, and uh, I think maybe that grid penalty really cost us to, to stay in the back of the field. It is tough to pass here in Suzuka. But we'll do better in the next race, and um, now that we have the energy store, uh, and a good job by Rosberg finishing in P3. I'm happy for my teammate. He, at least he got a podium out of this, but um, it was just a terrible day for us, and um, we could have gotten a better outing. We, we could have gotten a little bit more better. If, um, if we just would have not used that grid penalty, that, and we would have started in P6, then it would have been a, a whole lot of difference over there, and then uh, it would have been great. Let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. That lead at the top of the table has shrunk somewhat today. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, I can't believe Max Verstappen got P8. And then Lando Norris got P9. No change in the top spot, but with today's points, their hold on the lead is getting weaker. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. Well, it was a terrible day for us here in the Japanese Grand Prix. We tried so hard to, to, to try to um, head the pace up and everything, but we just did not have the pace. But um, it's now shrunk somewhat, and now we've shrunk it into an eight-point advantage over uh, Lewis Hamilton. But now we don't have to worry about doing any more uh, grid penalties, and uh, it really cost us the race and everything. And, uh, but Nico Rosberg has now surgically moved up into P5, but we'll do better in the next race. So I promise you we'll do better. And, and good job for Nico Rosberg for getting points. And, uh, and, then, the, the, and then Valtteri Bottas you know, going out of the race like that. So we still hold on to the lead in the constructor standings. But we're now about eight points ahead with about five races to go. But we've got to, get to, we got to do well in the, uh, in the Coda. And maybe we'll do much better over there. I think everybody has changed their, uh, to their fourth engine component. But but I think maybe their third engine component will get weaker, but uh, we have only have five races to go, and, uh, and we did change our engine component. I think they changed it into Singapore Grand Prix, but, uh, but don't worry. In the next race, but we evenly have seven wins, but, you know, Hamilton's been through that before, but uh, it's just kind of been a bit of monumental battle uh, for the race. But uh, uh, we had a terrible car and everything, but we'll try to get it right for next season. But it was a P313 finish, and uh, we'll, we'll focus on the next one, and then we'll see what we can do at, uh, at the Coda in the U.S. Grand Prix. Let's have your thoughts. But good job for my teammate. He finished in third place. these grid penalties are affecting the sport? Well, it was the grid penalty that really um, didn't get us move up in the field, but, um, but I'll make sure I'll never, ever uh, have a grid penalty again here at the, the Japanese Grand Prix. We could we, we would have kept the uh, the energy store as it is and then put it up to P6 and then we would have faced the grid penalty at the U.S. Grand Prix because it's a much wider and much bigger track. But um, a podium finish for your teammate. Will you be celebrating with them tonight? Well, I'll do a little celebration out of it, but I'm I'm pretty frustrated right now because we didn't um, have the pace uh, to, to go up there and. Um, but we, we need more durability on the car and everything. Did he beat you today? Was it a setup issue or something else? Well, he, Nico drove much harder and everything. He did a great job, but um, we just didn't do a good job. We just didn't have the pace. I thought we did, but then um, but it's tough to pass around here in the Japanese Grand Prix. It really affected our, uh, our rivalry breakdown, but we'll make a huge comeback in that rivalry breakdown. 
at least to give us a little bit of a, an effort. But uh, we'll focus on the next race and then uh, get the bugs out of the system and, and then we'll do much better uh, in the U.S. Grand Prix. Well, because my teammate Nico Rosberg accomplished that, I did. I only had damage on the engine, but uh, no damages. But at least it goes up to uh, 5.4 million. But a great job for my teammate. At least my teammate got something. You know, he uh, did everything he could, and then he gave us uh, some money, and that's good. And that's a good plus for the team. And I'm very proud of my teammate Nico Rosberg, and he's moving up in the in the top five. But. We'll get a better rounding and we'll do well in the next this race. Income for the sponsors is clear, and we're making good profit against our running costs. How do you want us to deal with this one? Thanks. I appreciate you taking the time to help out. And we're going to get a new uh, sponsorship uh, on this one. So we're going to go to. Uh, now that we're doing so well. Which we'll try to get some more uh, money out of it. Uh, we're not going to do that one. I think we're going to go to Asia Tech Dynamics. Uh, we'll have a new sponsor on that and then we'll put that up in the next one. But at least for now, the good news is we have 9% of the overall wear and we have much more uh, reliability. We have 8%, but we boost most of the kinetic unit. It's now up to 64%, but this should uh, be okay for, for the rest of the uh, season. Because we got about five races left to go, and the U.S. Grand Prix will have a much better outing, and uh, and we'll do good on that in that race next. I can't wait for uh, Spec 3 to, to upgrade. And we got the calibers coming, and uh, how about the arrow? Well, and now we got the, uh, now we finally got that front wing end plate. That, that, that will dramatically help us. Yeah, we got that front wing end plate, and now we can put that uh, in there too. And now we lead into the aerodynamics. So now we get that Vortex uh, generator to, to put into. Uh, put into the car. So hopefully these upgrades uh, will help uh, dramatically. Well, we have 5.4 million. We're going to wait until... Uh, Uh, try to do that one. If we can get more points out of it, then we, we will do well in the next race. But it was a terrible race uh, outing in the uh, Japanese Grand Prix, and I feel very sorry that I, but at least we got all our accomplishments thanks to Nico Rosberg, and I'm glad to have him as a teammate, and he got a podium for us, and uh, that's good. And uh, we just didn't really, uh, just didn't push the pace uh, a little bit too much here at the Japanese Grand Prix, but we'll get it right in the next race, and uh, and we'll try to win this championship and try to beat out Lewis Hamilton. So that will conclude our coverage of the uh, Japanese Grand Prix. It was a terrible outing, but we'll come back next season and then we'll have a better outing uh, into the next one. But thank you so much for watching here on the Speed Japan 3 channel. It wasn't meant to be, but uh, but in the U.S. Grand Prix at my home track, I'm going to make it work and then we'll do, we're going to do it uh, much better in the next race. And we'd like to thank you so much for watching here. And hopefully in episode number 36, we'll have a better outing. But thanks so much for watching here in the Speed Chamber Air 3XL channel. And we'll see you later on after uh, I get some things to, to do around here. But uh, take care, and, uh, and hopefully in the next race, we'll, we'll have a better outing. Well, we're going to rebound and then have a better outing. We're, we're still leaning in the point standings, but uh, it just wasn't meant to be. But um, I'm, I'm very sorry. I know. It's... Usually one of these races, it happens like this, and, you know, I have worse races, I have good races, but, but you just have to deal with it, and then uh, 
and hopefully we'll have a better car in the next race. But take care, and then hopefully in our home track, uh, we'll get back on top.